tried to access the offside and he has been bowled by a full toss. Who would have thought? Three for 28. Well, that's the last ball he would have been expecting. He would have been looking for something just down in front of his eyes there that he can whack over the extra cover or mid off. And it's amazing how many wickets full tosses do get in this format because it's the last one you think is coming. Thin edge on it, cannons into the off stump. And trust me, that is a huge breakthrough for the Melbourne Stars. This game is alive and well. Don't worry about that. Sydney Thunder, three for 28. Surprise of catch, straight to the man. Out! Rogers takes the catch. It's Pfeiffer. And Sams goes. That's dumb. Very, very dumb cricket. 66 required from 62 balls before that shot. Yes, there's a bit of a build-up of pressure. Yes, it's been a reasonable over. But you just got to get through those tough times. You can't throw your wicket away like that. Simple of catches at long on. Coulton Isle picks up his second. Sams goes for three or five, and it puts his team in dire, dire trouble. They slump to five for 57. Rotate in theory, rotate strike with the odd boundary shot. Bowled off the bottom edge, he's chopped it on. Colton Isle with the flicks. And the Stars are flexing hard here. Six wickets they've taken. Defending a very slim, modest total. They are in the box seat to go on and win. Geez, he'd be disappointed with that Ollie Davies. Very similar the ball to the one the ball before that he carved back with a point for four. It's an off cutter. Slower ball. Did it just seem back in? Did the lack of pace make him change his shot and drag it back onto the stumps? Regardless, it's a great spell from Nathan Coulton Isle. Three for 19 from his four overs with 11 dot balls. Davies goes for 11, 6 for 71.